Hello YouTube, Skip the Wolf here for another video for your viewing pleasure. And in this video, we will be going over all the pickups that I just made, including the 10 that I got from Spindle and the one that I got in the mail today. So without further ado, let's begin. But before we begin, I have some DVD pickups that I want to get out of the way as well that I got at Spindle. First up, Minute Black 3. Uh, I was thinking I would go down. And the Men in Black, like getting the Men in Black films on DVD, this one, and then Men in Black 2, and then the first Men in Black. So that's my idea. Men in Black 3. I did see this in the theater. I thought it was good enough, I guess. So that's Men in Black 3. Next up, we got. We have Tears of the Sun. Figured I'd pick this one up. Pretty interesting film. It's one of those war films from the director of Training Day. That's Tears of the Sun. And then the last one. Transporter 3. Now I have all the Transporter films. This is all right. Well, I don't have Transformer 4. Transporter 4, rather. I just have the three that were, that were released in the 2000s, I guess. So, in case I didn't show that. And this one is actually one of those full screen and widescreen ones it's which is an interesting concept so transporter three that's it for those pickups let me scratch my back so anyway I got 10 CDs from Spindle, and I have one in the mail that I got today, so let's get started. We're going to go from album title here. First up, Genesis, and their album, Abacab. I do want to get more Genesis for the collection. Definitely worth it. I mean, this is probably one of the underrated albums, I guess. Like one, one that you don't hear about that much. And back here it has a description about what this album is and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, and this is an original press, too. I usually go for the original presses because, yeah, like, I think it, it brings a more real sound or whatever. Like the remaster, if. You collect the remastered editions, that's fine. It's totally fine by me, but I just personally want to get like the original or at least ones that are that are how it originally came with the black tree. I don't know, I just feel like doing that with albums. So that's Abacab by Genesis. Next up, I already have this album, but this edition of the album I did not have, so it was released in a digipack and a regular jewel case, and now I have the digipack. This is Seven Dust sophomore album, Home. Very good album. Definitely good. It is a digipack version. I figured I'd just pick it up because it was three bucks. And yeah. That's what it looks like on here. And then, of course, it has the uh, tribute to the snot singer and his little pit bull or dog or whatever, whatever dog that was that he had. Or boxer, I think it is. So it's Seven Dust with Home. And just for comparison's sake, I have to go over here real quick. Sorry about all the squeaking and stuff. 
I will show you the comparison between the two. So I grabbed the jewel case that I've had for years. Actually, I got this from the same store as this was years ago. Like this, I got this copy years ago at the same exact store that I got this copy at. So here. Obviously, see that there's a difference. Like, between the two. Just show the back, back. And then that's the back of the booklet, in case you weren't aware. So, yeah, let me put this back. All right. So that's Seven Us with their album Home, that edition of it. Next up, we have UB40, Labor of Love 2. Whatever. I just decided to grab this. I have the first Labor of Love, so whatever. This will probably be very quick. I don't know what to say about UB40. I think they're like a new wave band, so... Yeah, UB40, Labor of Love 2. Next up is a big one because I did not have this album and I wanted it and now I have it. This is Led Zeppelin's debut. And this, I think, is a remaster. I could be wrong. It is, you know, it is a remaster. But it still comes in the tray, which is the way to go for me. Like, this is, which is the way I usually collect albums. I know they've remastered it and stuff like that. Like, and there's digipack versions and stuff like that. But I just, uh, I'm kind of weird. You could say that's Led Zeppelin. Yeah, this is an iconic album. Like, that songs like Good Times, Bad Times, Days and, and Confused, and Communication Breakdown, Black Mountainside. Like all those songs, and you shook me. Like, and it was precursor to like metal, actual heavy metal stuff. Although Led Zeppelin's more rock, and rock is also a good classification for this next band that I have up here. Now, this, this is ACDC Live. And it's one of their live albums. This wasn't the one that I was, that I, that I, Uncle has, but whatever. AC DC Live, if you can't see that on the spine. And that's the back of it. And that's the inside of it and the disc. AC DC Live, definitely good for the collection. Next up is my first album from this band. I heard this band at my the New Year's party, and I was like, "This sounds really good. What is this?" I looked it up. It was Steely Dan, and you know, like I decided I was gonna go on a journey collecting their albums because I heard the song "Black Cow," which is not on the album that or and I heard "Reeling in the Years" and "Black Cow," those two songs, and they're not on this album that I have right here, but I. Now starting a journey of collecting their albums. So, this is the album I got from Steely Dan. This is Pretzel Logic. Nice album title. And includes Ricky Don't Lose That Number, which is like a big hit for them. And definitely, I'm going to collect more from Steely Dan in the future. But, you know, this thing here is like an ad for like other album, other artists and stuff. Let me look at this. There's Leonard Skinner, Steppenwolf, Neil Diamond, Elton John. I have those. Um, Three Dog Night. That would be interesting. Um, uh, Tom Petty. Of course, I have some Tom Petty in my collection. George Strait, which Kyle would probably be big on because he's a country guy. Buddy Holly. I don't know. Uh, BB King, like New Edition, Mamas and Papas, Crusaders, Stephanie Mills, Dan Martin. This is what's on the compact disc, compact price uh, thing. 
from MCA Records. This is an MCA release, so I'm just going... If you get this edition, I think they might have remastered Prince of Logic and other others, but this... If you get, like, one of these, like, then... Cool. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. This is... Steely Dan, Prince of Logic, definitely. We can get more from Steely Dan in the future. And the next one's actually a really interesting one. This is from the band Dog Star, which is known as the band that Keanu Reeves was in. And this one is Quattro Formaggi. It's an EP. Um, I might not be saying the word Formaggi correctly, but whatever. And it's also rare to find albums with the letter Q in the title at the beginning of the title. So that's another plus. Let's just have some EP though. Four tracks. And I would like to seek out other stuff from this band. Well, because, yeah. And that's Keanu Reeves. And I'm just going to show this. That's Keanu Reeves in the, and the other members of the band. So, he played guitar in the band. So, if you don't know. So, yeah, that's Dog Star, Quattro, Formaggi, Formaggi, whatever. Next up is another really good one here. And I was wanting this album, and I finally have it. This is Metallica, s and M. I I have s and too, and I never had this. And I saw it for two ninety eight. I was like, deal. Metallica's S and M. Yeah, I don't have Garage Inc., which is a shame. So I definitely work on getting a lot more Metallica stuff, especially since they might come out with a new album either this year or next year or any year. But I'm not huge on Metallica, but they are worth collecting. This is disc two. This is a two disc set. You know, performed with an orchestra, and it was a very legendary concert. And yeah, so Metallica S and M. Next up, this is the CD that I just got today in the mail. And I'm already showing it, so why not? Dream Theater: Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence. This is another two disc set, and yeah, and this is a very ambitious album for Dream Theater. And stuff like that, but, and I am definitely gonna get more Dream Theater, including their new album, which is one of the best of this year. And I don't know when I'll get it, but I will definitely get it. Don't worry. Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence is the album I have right here. And here we go. Open up. This is the inside of it, and the two disc part is kind of broken a little bit as you can see this is kind of wobbling looks like only one hinge You've got to be careful not to break it so here's the second disc that's what it looks like on this side again so that's six degrees of inner turbulence by the band dream theater Next up, we have an album from Yes, and I realize that this is not one of their best albums. A lot of Yes fans have said, and this is another one of their 90s albums. But since it was 298, I figured, why not? So this is Talk. And yeah, I know people like Zach D have said that Talk is not one of the best. But whatever. Right? And Again, this is an original press. Victory Records. Not to be confused with Vi Victory, the label that A Day to Remember was on and they had a controversy with. This is a different Victory Records. Victory Music. And so, this is what the inside of it looks like. How 90s can you get with this packaging, by the way, with the album artwork by the way like that looks so 90s uh, it just looks like that to me like the font that they use for the band logo 
and also the last names of the band members on the back. Like, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, that's Yes with their album, Soft. And finally, we have another Dream Theater one. I got this at Spittle as well. This is Train of Thought. And this is one of the more heavy albums. Not my personal favorite, but still solid. When it comes to Dream Theater, I'm more a fan of like Octavarium or like Awake or Metropolis. Or whatever. But like Train of Thought is still a good album. But you know, definitely good. And that's the disc. And this, this is the album, Dream Theater, Train of Thought. And that is it for this video. So what do you think of everything that I showed off in this collection or this CD pickup update video, CDs and DVDs? Let me know in the comment section down below. This is Captain Wolf signing out. Take care.